Thanks for joining me on Life Less Ordinary today and I'm just about to have a look at our garden after having spent two weeks away uh, in nice sunny, sunny climate in Kosciuszko National Park with our family. Uh, so I'm about to have a walk through of our raised garden beds to see how uh, it has spared in the two weeks since we've been gone. There's been lots of rain here, a couple of days of sunshine, but a massive amount of rain. So let's have a look at what's going on. This is my dahlia garden bed with some cosmos. But when we left, there were no flowers at all and we had lots of flowers growing. Uh, so this is really nice to see. Lots of different colors. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Uh, over here, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's have a look shall we this is uh, the broccoli that I had planted and netted hoping that we would escape some of the damage from insects and we haven't so we're gonna have to have a look through that a bit later and try and pick off any of the insects that we can see uh, and try and deal with that and then see if there's actually any holes in this netting that the insects are getting through. So we have leek here and our celery is actually doing quite well. Obviously the rain has um, helped that. We've got a few things of celery. Uh, so we've just come back out because we got sidetracked with emptying the trailer from uh, all our camping stuff. Uh, it's a lot warmer, hence removing the jacket, and it's nice to feel the sun. Looking at this garden bed here, we have uh, the silver beet, uh, which is doing quite well. I'll just pull off, uh, snap off bits around the bottom that are obviously not doing so well, and we'll uh, feed that to the chickens, add it to the compost. Sunflowers are ready to be pulled out. Uh, lettuce has definitely uh, bolted. Uh, and we really haven't gotten much lettuce out of this garden bed um, when I, since I've planted them. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I'll have to have a think about that. Uh, we do have also spring onions that I interplanted in the middle. And again, they have not grown very well at all. So I might test the soil to see whether there's a pH imbalance, whether there's something going on. Here we have um, a whole heap of cherry type tomato smaller tomatoes they're actually looking quite good uh, on these uh, so we'll um, just tidy up and clip back some of these little um, branches here uh, just like that um, just to tidy it up a bit and retrain those back on tie them back onto the trellis we do have um, some good capsicums growing in here which I'm really pleased about. Um, this one here we'll just have to tidy up. It's got some rotting fruit on it. Um, coming around here we have beetroot which is probably getting near to harvest. Now this is heirloom beetroot so they're different types uh, that are in there but they're getting towards time to harvest. Uh, and we do have eggplant here and in this garden bed over here but they really have not done well at all um, so eggplant here only just fruiting and that's a bit too late because we're going to start getting frosts in the next month uh, the watermelon here again uh, it, if it doesn't have fruit by now uh, towards the end of March then I might as well pull it out because we'll get frosts in the next month and this will die off we'll need to trellis tie back a lot of these uh, because we've still got a, probably a good another two months of um, getting tomatoes off these but as you can see here we've had insect damage here in these ones so we'll have to grab all of those off and throw them to the chickens um, and tidy up here as well we've got spring onions these are coming along really well as is the sorrel um, the lettuce same as that garden bed over there, it's bolted. It hasn't done very well at all. Uh, so over here we have um, a carrots which are pretty much ready to pull out. Some of this has actually gone to seed. 
so I can uh, try and save some of these seeds uh, to use uh, next season um, to grow more carrots and that's a way of um, being more uh, sustainable I guess not having to buy seeds uh, the capsicum here isn't doing too well uh, but the tomatoes this one here is definitely I need to pull that one out it has finished it's well and truly done its dash uh, whereas these ones over here are still going I will just need to tie some up uh, grab off any of the yucky fruit and uh, the rotten fruit and also harvest the good stuff so that I can uh, we can use them inside for salads and for making sauces um, and salsa and things like that. What else have we got? Um, the cucumber over here, it's, uh, it, the, the actual vine is dying off, so we'll get these fruit off. Um, yuck. <laughs> An insect. Uh, we'll get these fruit off. Um, that's pretty much done for that. Uh, and what we'll do is, is um, my plan for this garden bed and this one here, because this was uh, the original soil that we used in here, which wasn't that good, I'm going to use some green manure in that. Uh, this, oh, oh, what is that? Something slimy, that's just gross. <laughs> One of the hazards of gardening. Uh, this tomato trellis uh, is overladen, so we've got lots of big fruit on there that we'll be pulling off. But as you can see, uh, the trellis has come off from the cable ties that we had tied up. So we'll have to fix that up. Um, some onions in here that are doing okay. Sorrel, uh, the lettuce is bolted, so it will be pulled out. And we do have some um, chilies over here. Um, and that's what color these ones are meant to be. Heirloom chilies, chili Santa Fe Grande. Um, so we'll get some of those off. Uh, over here, the rock melon vine is dyed, uh, and these rock melon, which are a French variety, I can't remember the name exactly, but they're meant to be this this small. Um, so we'll be pulling those off and eating those. Uh, this is uh, perpetual spinach, and we've got spring onions. These are ready to be pulled out, so we can start using these now. Uh, as you can see, the vine has definitely died, um, so we'll be taking those pumpkins off and uh, storing those for use during the winter. The zucchini, the blackjack, it's on its way out, so again, we'll harvest the last of the zucchini and pull that out. Uh, and we have, here's a um, rock melon. As you can see, it's, it, uh, it's definitely nice. Um, flesh even though it's been eaten and it smells very very sweet so it's obviously meant to be that rock melon is meant to be that size um, I might see see save some of those seeds as well so that we can grow some next season as well well on this side we have the blackjack zucchini which is dying and ready to be pulled out this zucchini here the trombocino is still going strong we still um, Yep, we'll take that one off and feed that to the chickens. We still have growing parts of the vine here um, and we have fruit still growing on here as well. So we've got some more. So I'll tidy this up, keep it trained and growing and keep getting more zucchinis for just a bit longer. Over here I planted some peas. Now I planted those probably about four weeks ago and they really should be a lot bigger than that. So these are definitely not working here. That may be because we just have not had any sun. Um, but I do have some more that I'm growing up in um, seed starts up the front. This pumpkin didn't get very big as the vines are uh, dying off. Now this, this has been very surprising. Uh, if you saw the last garden tour video, I had planted in here corn and then planted bean seeds at each four corners of the, the corn and then I had the pumpkin that, that was meant to grow as ground cover. So there's pumpkin under here, um, pumpkin on the end here. But if you have a look, um, let me just see. 
So we actually have here yeah, and under here, we actually have, it is a bit of a mess, but I actually have beans growing on here that are ready to pull off, ready to harvest. So I planted a mixture of, red, of yellow and green beans. So we will have some fun with that. And I wasn't sure whether we would actually get any corn off these being so late. I planted these in January, but we do actually have some corn growing there. So we'll see what happens in a couple of weeks with those. Sweet potato is doing really well. So I've got six different sweet potato plants. And if you have a look in here, you can see that we are getting some sweet potato. So I'll remound that up. So this will be super exciting to harvest in a couple of months time. Then, over here. Uh, again, these zucchinis are definitely on the way out. And it doesn't look like there's much fruit on there. Uh, the tomatoes, same as all the other tomatoes, we'll just need to tie them up get any fruit off, clip any tomatoes off, uh, any branches off. And then around here we have some more beetroot, um, which I did plant after that last lot. So these have still got another couple of weeks to go. And spring onions. And all in all, I'm pretty pleased with this. Um, given the weather situation we've had, uh, it could have been a lot worse. I will get tomatoes off. Um, we will get spinach. You know, I'm looking forward to trying those uh, rock melon, the pumpkin. You know, it's all, all in all, it's not too bad. I'm really pleased with it. So, hope this uh, has uh, given you a bit of insight into what um, coming back after a couple of weeks of holiday looks like and having to make lists of what you've got to pick up. But thanks for joining us on Life Less Ordinary.